Hello, hello, how are you? Welcome to Live with Lauren. I'm Lauren, how are you doing? Hey, so let's get right after it. So today I wanna to talk about quit quitting. It is one of my favorite topics because it's so important if you are in pursuit of a goal that you really drill down and get this together. You gotta to be really strong and quit quitting. How do you quit quitting? It's so easy to quit quitting. It's so easy, but it is gonna require some diligence. So I'm not saying it's gonna be fast, but it is easy. So what do you do? I have four things for you to do. One, and I wrote them down, you have to be consistent. Hi, Sean. Um, two, you've gotta get curious about some things. Three, celebrate, woo woo, one of my favorite things as well. And then lastly, community. So the first thing, let's talk about consistency. Why is that so important? So I talked about this with some other friends of mine today. And the thing about goals in life is it's not a straight line. We don't go from A to Z and not have to come back and forth across a couple of things a couple of times. Never when we're learning anything. Think about that time you learned how to ride a bike. Did you do it right away? No. But by consistently trying, you were able to achieve some results. So that is 100% the exact same thing. So right behind me, you see you have some vegetables here. That is one of the keys to helping you improve your A1C level is what vegetables are you eating? What are you doing? And vegetables have carbs, so I'm not here to say don't eat any carbs, but I am saying know where your carbs come from. So even in vegetables, there are different degrees of carbohydrates. Excuse me, so know what those are for you and then be focused. Know how the different vegetables affect your blood sugar level and how can you do that? By being consistent and trying them. Your blood sugar level is not gonna go down overnight. You know, it takes three months before you can get a new A1C level, but you're not gonna know how successful your efforts are if you're not consistent. So that's the first thing you've gotta do. Um, the second thing I would like for you to do is to get curious about when you're not consistent, why? What's going on? What have you decided about, oh, you know what? I don't want to eat my vegetables today. Are you three? <laughs> no, you're not three years old anymore, so don't do that. But if you can get curious, you can ask yourself, what is really going on? Why don't I want to eat my vegetables every day? Why don't I want to track the carbs that I'm eating every day? Why don't I want to get some exercise every day? Then when we can look at those reasons, we can start to make some progress. We can start to get that ball rolling down the track so that you can what? Reduce that blood sugar level. All right, now the third one is celebrations. Now this one I do not take lightly. I'm not saying, okay, you've had your doctor's appointment, your doctor's like, look, you gotta do something, you're on the cusp, you are now pre -di you're about to be diabetic, you're out getting too close to the upper limit of the pre-diabetic range, and you're like, oh no. And then what's he gonna say, or what's she gonna say? Come back in three months, so I don't want you to wait for three months to celebrate and have all that tension inside of your body while you are making progress. What I do want you to do is celebrate along the way. If you decide on a vegetable that you're gonna eat, then celebrate. It's like, hey, I have not been eating you know, salad or whatever without XYZ dressing, but this week I did. So we want to build on these little habits that you are now going to be consistent with applying. And so by, the, by you celebrating them along the way, what is that gonna do? That's gonna give your brain that dopamine hit that maybe you were looking to something else for, and you're like, oh wow, that's right. I celebrated that I ate a salad. I felt really good about that. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the feeling of celebrating myself. I wanna do that again. I wanna do that particular activity again. So you are now training yourself how to celebrate yourself so that you can be the one that's in control and responsible for your progress. All right, so that's what celebration means. And we wanna do those for the little things along the way, along the way. You may feel goofy, so what? Keep doing it. Someone may think you're being silly. So what? Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it because we're trying to learn something new so that we can actually what? Reduce that A1C level and not have to go on medication for that even if it runs in your family. That's what I'm all about, that's what I'm here for, that's what I've done and that's what I know is possible for you. All right, so the fourth thing is community. Why do I say community? We hear community all the time. What does that mean? No, not going to community center. We hear that in church. We hear that with our friends. We hear that in other groups that we're in. And it's because it's meaningful. When you can find a group of people that are also contending for their health and have some of the same challenges that you are having, have some of the same successes that you are having, what is that going to do? That's going to lift you, right? The, what is it? The tide lifts all 
A rising tide lifts all boats. So that's what's really the essence of community is that the rising tide lifts all boats. So when you can get into a group of people and work with people who are pursuing their health and they want to also reduce their A1C level without medication, even if it runs in their family, that is going to help you with the other three things that we mentioned, which are being consistent, um, celebrating, and then also be, you know, being consistent, being curious about what's going on with you, why you may or may not be being consistent, and then also celebrating. So um, those are the four things that I have for you about what you can do to quit quitting. And I have a podcast that I was interviewed on that you can listen to. I put the link to that in this um the, the description of this video today. So feel free to listen to that. But the basics are knowing where you are going. This is different than a why, um, because it has to do with you being comfortable with learning. That's the first thing you've got to do as well. I, I, there's so many firsts, but that is one of the first things is being comfortable with the learning process that it's not you have to know everything right away. You're trying to unwind perhaps some habits and perhaps actually, you know, having vegetables is not one of them. So um, I want you to focus on these four things again so that you can quit quitting. Um, being, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, so being consistent, um, being curious, <laughs> celebrating yourself, and community. I like to have notes because otherwise I just put, I just, I just get so excited. I may forget what I want to say. So those are the things. Listen to the podcast as well. Draw some comments below if I can help you in any way. And I promise you, promise you, promise you. One other tip I'm going to give you is be patient because it's not going to happen overnight. Um, but by being patient with yourself, talking to yourself kindly, and a whole host of other things that I can talk about in future videos, you will be successful. All right, so let's get after it. Let's get that A1C level down. Let's reduce that blood glucose level so that you do not have to be on medication to control that and so that you can prevent type 2 diabetes, even if it runs in your family. That's what I did. I know you can do it. Let's go. Woo -woo. Have a good weekend. Thanks so much for watching and being here. I appreciate you. Bye for now.